Phil, please let us know if you'd like to ask a question. We'll start with answer I can. Yes, Jeff uh, Suter didn't practice today. Is he injured or what's his available? Uh, the maintenance day. We expect him to be available tomorrow. And I saw uh, giving Bono a look on the power play. Uh, what do you hope that he can bring uh, to that unit? Yeah, we still got to make a decision on it, but I wanted to see him uh, in practice. Um, so we'll see if, uh, if if that's how it works out in the game or not. But, uh, uh, you know, Joe Joe's a guy who uh, ultimately would like to see get opportunities on the power play uh, to see if he can be a good power play player at the NHL level. Um, you know, he's got good individual uh, skills in terms of transporting the puck and shooting the puck. Um, does that translate into... Uh, um, you know, lots of uh, offense and or uh, power play effectiveness. Uh, that'll be up to him to to, uh, to show us. And uh, Zadina didn't practice on power play. What did, did you need? What do you need to see more from him uh, on that unit? I don't know if it's necessarily uh, more from from Z. Is it's uh, you know other guys getting opportunities. Um, so uh, you can't put guys on without taking guys off. Um, and so, you know, ultimately, um, that, that was the, the decision we made today in practice. So we'll see where it goes from here. Um, you know, I think Z has had, uh, he's probably been like a lot of the rest of the players, uh, on the power play at moments of being good and, and too, too many moments of, of not being super effective. Otherwise the power play percentage would be way better. And, uh, Letty, uh, coming back, is he, will he be available tomorrow? Letty? Yeah. I don't know that answer uh, yet. Um, he's available. Uh, whether or not he's in our lineup or not, I'll, I'll, uh, you will see tomorrow night. Thanks. Yep. Next one, Max Boltman. Um, you guys went through kind of a phase last year with the power play where you tried a bunch of different stuff at once. And I know, like, I, I think there's so many people about your hands off and all that. Like, how do you, when you go through a stretch like this, decide when it's time to switch stuff out and when it's kind of ride it out and get the process? It is uh, a balance. Um, you know, I think it's easy. You can get yourself in trouble if you change too much um, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, all of a sudden you're changing, you're changing, you're changing. You have no hope for chemistry. Um, you know, so we really haven't changed much right now. Um, we've kind of stayed the course. We've tried to be patient. Uh, certainly lack of, uh, uh, you know, I don't want to say lack of execution, but lack of execution certainly tries your patience, but so does, so does lack of success. Um, sometimes the best thing is to stick with it and, and grind through it. And sometimes the best thing is to uh, make a change. Um, and those are just decisions that we make as we go along. Um, I can't tell you there's a magic formula to it. Uh, hopefully, you know, we rely on our experience. Uh, all of us in, in the room and, and trying to make the decision that we think is best, but, but there's balance to both, you know, um, certainly, you know, we don't want guys to feel like they're entitled to the power play. Um, but it's, you know, you can't just whip guys on and off and expect you're going to have success either. So uh, we're getting some guys, some opportunities and some guys, sometimes a guy shows up in practice and gets an opportunity and plays great on it. And, um, and then, and then you're kind of obliged to give them that chance. When you guys, uh, when you've gone and watched like the, the recent stretches, has it been in zone entries, everything that like has stood out to you? Yeah, no, our entries have gotten better. Um, you know, both from 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 uh, my my eye test and, and statistically, um, you know, we've moved up the ladder uh, a long ways in terms of our uh, entry success in the power play, and that means you gain the zone, you gain possession, and you set up your power play. It doesn't just mean you cross the blue line. Um, our face-offs have gotten a little bit better. Uh, I don't think, you know, last night was a little different animal. We, we you know, we had one power play where we chased around the other team in, in the end. So, so that's not going to have much success. I think, uh, you know, unforced errors to me is probably the number one thing that has plagued their power play over the last bit. And, and it's just understanding that, um, you just take what's given and you, and you look for open shots, you shoot it and you get more people than that. I think between unforced errors and being on the same page, uh, creating chaos at the cage are two things we got to do a better job. Yep. Lane St. James. Hey Jeff, is there anything specific you see that the team maybe has strayed from just compared to how well you were playing around and out of Thanksgiving? Uh, you know, well, I think, Helena, I would say one thing matters is confidence for sure. And, you know, I think 
I'm not sure the exact dates, but you know, we got on that stretch, we won five in a row. I'm assuming that's around that time. Yeah. Um, you know, co confidence matters for sure. It's just the reality of it. Confidence uh, as an individual, as a team, as a, as a specialty team unit. So that's one, a hundred percent. I don't know that, you know, that there's been a, a stark difference in our play um, from that period of time till now. Um, I don't see anything, you know, going super wayward uh, in, a, in a way different manner. Um, you know, I told you, I thought we got, uh, you know, when we went out west, I think that was prior to that. We didn't, we didn't, uh, we weren't playing good enough defensively. But you know, I, you know, the Washington game, we gave up, I don't know, twelve chances. That's not very many. You know, the Boston game, we gave up more. So I don't know if it's one thing necessarily. Um, you know, I think, uh, uh, I think it only gets harder as the year goes along, and we got to show that that we're a team that that uh, belongs in on the win column as the as the uh, games get harder and harder. But I don't know that there's any stark difference. Um, it's individual players uh, playing at a high level and, and uh, make plays at key moments. Yeah, and also just to touch up on what we talked about last night, both you and Dylan, you know, the, the physicality and pushback. How do you how do you generate more of that? I mean, in both cases, like you said, Friday, you were certainly in position to win. I mean, yesterday it was a close game until early in the third period to just to just be the team that comes out and makes the push to win. Yeah, you're, you're right in the case, you know, we come out last night and it was two to one and, and, you know, we actually had a look to score to make it two to one us really. And, and, you know, we missed the net and it goes back the other way and they score. Yeah. I mean, it's two to one. So, I mean, they, it wasn't like the game was out of hand. Um, you know, the Washington game was a much closer game scoring chance wise. Um, yeah, you know, th th there's probably two questions in there. One's the, the match and the physicality. That's just the decision that, that we're going to match physicality. We're going to finish checks. We're going to make the opponent uh, pay a price when they when they when they have the puck, and I think there's been times we've passed up some checks, not all, all but some. Um, you know, I think uh, the Boston teams get driven lots by Marshan. I think he's a, a extremely competitive. Him and Bergeron are extremely competitive uh, people. But I, I would also tell you, I thought Larkin was extremely competitive last night, and and I thought he won a lot of pucks. I think his expected goals percentage was in the 80. percent I mean. You know, he had a really good game. So it's not, it's, you know, I think our, our leadership did a pretty good job of it too. But throughout the lineup, we just got to make sure that we're making the opponent pay a hard price. And, and um, uh, you know, so that's one. Uh, you know, how do you win those games? Again, you know, one, especially teams. Um, you know, I think in both Washington and in Boston, uh, you know, our power play let us down. If, if we score on the power play in those games, uh, can, it's definitely has a chance to be a different outcome. Um, you know, ultimately Washington scored a, a power play goal at the very, very end of their power play. Um, that was the difference. So, um, you know, I, I, we, we just got to, we got to keep putting ourselves in those positions and then you've got to find ways to make plays to, to win the hockey game, you know, to win in this league, you need great goaltending, you need great specialty teams uh, and you need to play real good five on five hockey. Thank you. Yeah. Ted Paulson. Hey, Jeff. Yeah, my question was kind of similar to Helena's. So you kind of answered it for the most part. I mean, I was just trying to get a definition of what you guys meant by physicality and all that. It was necess not necessarily standing up to them or anything like that. It was more about you weren't too happy with the, st the style of play, basically, in that regard. No, I, don't, I don't know that. It, it, I just think, again, I, I would say it's more making sure that the other team pays as much of a price as we're going to mm -hmm. pay. Like, that's just the, how the games are going to go here. You know, they're going to get more and more physical, I think, as, as teams. Um, you know, I think one of the advantages we had early in the year is, is we played games like they were playoff games. And now, you know, I think as you get closer, um, you, you know, to the second half of the year, teams – lack of a better word, I guess, turn it up. Like a team like Boston knows they have to win games, so they get an urgency level that's closer to the playoffs. And, and, and part of that is more physicality, and we got to make sure that we're making the other teams pay as much of a price as we're paying. Um, you know, and, and we're totally built like that. I think we're built enough like that, you know, um, that, that we can make sure that guys are making people pay a price. That was just these – even, okay, the Washington game too, Friday. But before you guys went on that, seems like five month break but that before the holiday break I mean now you guys I don't know were you disappointed in that aspect before the holiday break or you guys were kind of playing pretty well in that regard that way I don't know that I'm mega disappointed in it you okay. know, I think everything is every 
you know, I think, I think we tend to go to extremes in life too often and, and it's somewhere in between. And, and uh, you know, and so again, I'm talking about, you know, little, little things that, that ultimately can make the difference for certain. And, you know, do we want to recognize a, 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 that the intensity level gets ramped up there as we get to January at a hundred percent, you know, and, and, and again, the, the one, you know, the one feeling I had, you know, and maybe it's because they played the day before, um, but to start that game, I thought they were more ready to, to, to compete at that high, high, high level you got to compete at. And um, certainly a lot of it was driven by the, the Bergeron line, um, but there are other guys did too, you know, and then I thought, you know, there was moments where we competed hard back, but we just got to make sure we recognize, you know, how hard you have to compete at that high, high level. And, and also like, you know, we, we want to be, we want it to be a separator for us. Um, so that's every game, not, not, not a lot of games. Thanks for this, Jeff. Appreciate it. All right. Those are all the questions we had for coach Blashell this afternoon. We'll be back shortly with Joe Valano.